When Tyson Pedro told his father he wanted to be a pro fighter, his dad had an unexpected response. Fight me. His father, John, was an MMA promoter and former hard man himself, and he wanted to make sure his son was truly ready to embrace the fight lifestyle. John has remained in the light heavyweight's corner ever since, and the two really embody the father-son bond. So in this edition of Unbreakable, we learn more about their shared love of combat sports. I attribute a lot of what I have today to my dad. A lot of our avid fans know the book on Tyson Pedro. His father, John, owned King of the Cage in Australia. So fighting was literally the first thing that Tyson Pedro learned. Becoming a father, Tyson changed everything. He was perfect to me. I didn't know something could be so powerful and could become anything he wants to become. Tyson Pedro! I definitely wouldn't be where I am right now if it wasn't for him. My dad, he's a character <laughs> that's lived many lives. He grew up very hard, like in the gang life. He's definitely a hard man because of his, um, yeah, his childhood. I'm from California. I grew up in the gang culture. You know, I'm not gonna justify or make anything sound pretty, but I did what I had to do. Those days in the gangs, you had to fight. My whole background is fighting and being the best martial artist I could. Done six black belts. I was fighting all my life, and so I became something I didn't want to be, but I survived. I wanted to take Tyson's mother out of that area. We come to Australia and thought, we'll give it a go. That's where we had Tyson. He came out, he had the same score on his head that my Tyson had. I was already a massive fan of my Tyson. And when I looked at him and he came out with a frown and he had his hands like that, I went, Tyson. When I was teaching and I had schools, he was always my right-hand man. You could see already he was learning everything faster, quicker. He loved being there and he loved being the best. I was 10 times tougher on him than I was on anybody else. And I'd make him stay back after everyone went home. He did 10 times more push-ups, 10 times more sit-ups. Let's go, come on, come on, push it in. One more. I think in his mind, he was raising warriors and Spartans or whatever he was doing, but uh, it was just a very hard, uh, um, hard on us kids. I can't remember when that kid ever actually complained to me. He was ready to follow me into the end of the earth. And if I jumped, he was jumping. There was massive pressure because I was always John Pedro's son. Everyone always expected me to be good. There was an organization called King of the Cage. Myself and my business partner, Tony Bonello, we decided to get King of the Cage up in Rome to expand mixed martial arts in Australia. Tyson growing up with King of the Cage, I thought he, he was a part of it. Imagine these guys coming to do training camps. Tyson was in there, he was on the mat. So while kids were playing with their dolls or kicking a soccer ball around, Tyson was learning how to do a flying arm bar or triangle. And this was normal for him. So he doesn't know anything different. I got into boxing at Blacktown Hit Squad and my hands started getting pretty good. I was thinking, oh, I want to try for the Olympic team. I started skipping school to go train and box full time. At that stage, he didn't want me fighting. Him being one of the like promoters at the time, he knew there was no money in it. But I knew there was nothing but pain going down this road. I thought I messed up. He was just a young fella, and I knew he wanted to leave school and fight. And I knew that was going to be tough. So I basically wanted to break him. So I said, you got to spar me. And if you can spar me, the full five minutes, you fight. I hit him and knocked out his teeth. And he was laying there, and he was out. There was like an overhand right, and my eyes glossed over and just looked at me, and I was just like, oh. All the boys want to jump in. They're all like, bro, this no down with. This is the fight world. This is what you want to be. You got to find out now. Don't find out in the ring. You don't want to be here. So he got up, his teeth are out, he's done. And I said, where are you going? 
You got 10 seconds left. I was crying, full ball of my eyes out. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit traumatizing as a kid, but <laughs> that afterwards, he, um, I remember he took me out the back and he was like, all right, now I'll, I'll let you fight. Like, I see that you made it. And I was like, that was bull just felt bad, he knocked me out. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I knew he was going to be great. I've been training for 27 years. Even though I still had lots of holes in my game, I knew that I could hold my own. I'd only had four fights, but they were all first round finishes. Tyson wow. Pedro, very, very impressive. And then someone called me and goes, hey man, do you want to fight in four weeks? I was like, yeah, sweet. And he was like, in the UFC. And I was like, hell yeah. The phone starts ringing. Tyson's on there and he goes, Dad, I did it, Dad. And I said, like, what did you do? And he goes, I'm in the UFC. I went, you're kidding me. You're in the largest, best fighting organization in the world? You're there? Did I think he was ready for the UFC? Yeah, 100%. He's dangerous. Tyson Pedro, 4-0, makes the walk to the octagon for the first time. Taking on Khalil Roundtree Jr. Roundtree's got the UFC experience. He's been here right. a few times before. Oh! Huge knockdown. left hand. Takedown for Tyson Pedro. Good recovery from that knockdown. This is bad news for Roundtree. Did it. Did it. That's a terrible position. Oh, and he gets the tap. Wow! Tyson Pedro lighting him up here in Melbourne. I think that was one of the first times he said, like, I'm actually proud of you. I don't have Dad in my corner at all to help with the fights or training. He's there because I want my rider to die in my corner. Fighting's part of us. Like, we're not out there stressed or anything. Like, we're calm because we've been doing this for years. No, sir. Yeah, it's getting twice. He's got Craig in a terrible position oh, here. That's, that's it. That's it. And that is it. Oh. Tyson Pedro, two for two. We have moments, and sometimes we don't even say anything. We have, like, a connection that we sort of understand each other. He knows when I'm switching on, and then he has to switch on. This is bad. We might get it. That's, that's it. it. Yes, he did. Tyson Pedro by submission. This is a credentialed light heavyweight who a lot of people think eventually is going to work his way to the shot at the title. The Shogun fight. This is easily the most memorable moment for me. This is his big opportunity with his dad in his corner. He could get the biggest win of his young career. Everything just felt right. A good knee to the midsection. And then my knee had fully ruptured. As soon as I heard it snap, it's how loud it was, I just knew. What was that? That's He's... absolutely a knee injury. All I was thinking about was I can't quit because my dad will give me a hiding out the back. <laughs> if I quit the fight, he'll bash me. <laughs> I ended up carrying on. I'm not sure exactly what caused that, but we saw him collapse. So he comes to the corner and I went, do you need? Go, sit down. Good. That's all right. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Good. And he's already shut it off. He goes, nah, let me fight. Listen, the time flies if you be in it. Win it, win it, yeah? I knew this could cause more damage, but I also know this kid won't go out like that. He needed to be the boss and make the call. In hindsight, maybe I should have called it, but as fighters, you go, man, I can fight with one leg. <laughs> Shogun is looking to punch his way to victory. Stop, 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 stop. Unfortunate for Tyson Pedro, who is presented with a big opportunity tonight. Obviously, I've had a lot of injuries, but yeah, I knew it was bad. I had to make the choice to start from scratch and use the patella for my ACL. Yeah, that was one of the hardest decisions I've ever made because I knew that that was going to be almost four years. That hit me hard. Fighting is like what gives me peace of mind. Not having that break, your mind just going non-stop and then you're sitting in bed, like, you can't walk. That was pretty <laughs> Outside family saying, hey, you got to retire. That's when it started becoming hard. There was times where I was like, can I do this for sure? But in my mind, I knew I was always going to be back fighting. I was flying from New Zealand. He opened the door. When I stood there and he looked at me, 
he just grabbed me and held me and hold of me for 20 minutes and just crying. I said, you ready to do this? And he looked me up and said, yes. And then I knew, we're back. That time really given me a lot more purpose to my fighting. I've gotten so much stronger as a person because I've just proved myself that you can do anything you put your mind to. If you work hard at doing what you love, anything's possible. Welcome back, Tyson Pedro. His last fight three and a half years ago at this point. So I asked Tyson about that. I said, hey, how did you feel? Were you nervous? People were asking, questioning, is this what you want to do? Do you want to fight? My answer to all of them was, do you even know this kid? That's all he wants to do is fight. Tyson Pedro! Time to knock the rust off after not competing. Oh, and oh heavy shot. Tyson Pedro is back in a big way. After that fight, when I came back, I was like emotional because I proved everyone wrong that told me to quit. He bore all that pain and suffering that he had, and it all came out that night. And then the second fight. The Hansucker one was amazing. Here is Tyson Pedro. He's got a capacity crowd to perform in front of tonight. You see his father, John Pedro, in the corner. I could see how proud Dad was to show, hey, this is my son, and he's fighting, and you're all coming to watch. Tyson Pedro! Yeah, it's a, it's a punch! Oh, he heard him. Yeah, he did. Front and a front kick to the body. Hopsucker covers up. That's it. Tyson Pedro, have a night. Wow. Dad jumped on me and tackled me, but it was just in the moment. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Dad used to teach me that the core of martial arts is to go every day and to try and get better at a move, right? If that's the core thing, by definition, you're trying to be better as a person every day. I want to be remembered by the people that I love as a good man. I got that from my dad. I like to think I did something good. I didn't come from a good place. But I think I did something good that made him a good man. Idol to a lot of kids and people and I was able to contribute some way. As a father, watching your son live his dream and living it with him, we got here. We got here. We started this journey together. And I promise you, we're gonna end this journey together.